I mean, there are haves and have-nots when it comes to both streaming, as we've learned, yeah. and social. And we're going to get another good read on that in terms of the kinds of stocks. And maybe you have to be much, much more selective than you had to be 6 to 12 months ago in those names. I think you absolutely have to. But by the way, on Snap, 38 sell-side analysts have buys on this thing. Only seven holds. So it is loved. It is very much loved, just like Amazon is loved, just like Net, uh, Netflix was, was loved. 31 buys on, on Netflix. So there is a lot of support for these stocks. And it, the reality is you are going to have to be more stock specific. I think streaming, I think it's dead for a long time. I think across the board, I would not have exposure. I think it's just too volatile, too much competition. And the fixes in place are going to take a very long time. So even though Netflix is very attractive to me at 19 times forward, what are you getting for it? You're getting 10% revenue growth and some unknowns in terms of when they're going to be able to fix some of their problems. A great company long term, but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a buyer, not here and across the board. Maybe it's not so much to, related to Netflix, Alex, a, a streaming in general issue. Maybe it's just one name that was wildly overvalued and now it has to come crashing back to earth. Absolutely. You know, the, marketer, the market looked at, at Netflix as a technology company, like we spoke about right before earnings. And that was a completely terrible mistake because they put unreasonable expectations on the stock. And it never was going to be a technology company. Unlike YouTube, it pays for every single piece of content that goes on this platform. And yet, investors are looking at it as if it's going to be able to make money appear out of thin air, where the case is that it's a hit-driven business, it's going to be paying for content, and it was absolutely the wrong way to look at it, even through the pandemic. And now it's going to be crashing down. And you know, when is it ever going to get back to where it was? It's trading at 2018 levels right now. Is it ever going to get back to where it was during the pandemic? Maybe, but it's going to take a long, long time to get there. Yeah, it's humbling, uh, as you said, to see that stock come down, right? You tweeted last night about Ackman selling for a few hundred million dollar minimum loss. Um, you know, very contrite with me today. 100% ready to admit when you got it wrong and 100% ready to admit when I got it wrong quickly. And he's not waiting around anymore, right? The old Ackman would have doubled down and told me all of the reasons why the market was getting it wrong. The new Ackman learned his lessons and said, you know what, I'm out. I don't have time to wait for them to try and fix a story that you suggest is broken. It's a humbling business, right? And being a portfolio manager really is hard, very, very hard. And if things change, you do have to adjust and you do have to look for uh, changes in the story.